so greetings and welcome back and today we're going to be focusing on how, how we can go ahead and optimize our images so we're going to write a go script that's going to go through all of our assets all of our images and then it's going to try to optimize them right so thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe and reach out to me in the comments for any help tips and suggestions right so essentially right so this is going to be a live coding session. I'm going to work through this. So there's going to probably be times where I pause, but essentially I want to try to work through this. All right, so let's try to see how this goes. All right, so basically I do the project supply string. I just want to grab as many locations, you know, um, that will uh, that will that will allow me that we could update the user could update the images, and so we already need that. Right, and then I think this could be a bit worrisome because like for something like Windows, right, the C drive is, um, but I, I think I have to account for that, right, and then try to figure that out, figure out how that looks. So now I, I basically have that. I'm going to have to, I want to try to, I want to get a weight group going. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, so now I get my weight group. So I got it. Some of these imports here. So, so final path got joined practically, and then and then right. So basically, right there. This is that wake group. This is how I can run multiple go routines. So everything's kind of running separately. Then basically the first thing I want to try to do is I want to go ahead and move this back up. Right. So let's try to write it up. So essentially, right, I run the commands in the specific directory. Right. So basically, here is going to be app. Right. So well. Essentially, I want to try to do is I want to copy. Uh, I want to try to copy um, the folder. I want to basically back up the whole folder before I go in there and make edits. Um, so, before anything, I want to try to I want to grab my copy details, right? And I say copy new, right? So I say details dot copy. copy beer and then the source right is going to be my app and then the destination right is going to be the backup location location and it's going to be uh, join Backup location and then app right the center. Right, so that's what that's essentially what I want to do. So hopefully this uh, script make, uh, makes it. So now so now it's the runtime. Sure, what the what the values could be. So it was Windows. So 
So I said you wanted to try to grab this and pull it. Oh. to try to find the import. Hopefully you can figure it out. Oh, so I see this import. So it comes from a goose package. Windows. To ready to declare. All right. So it's gonna be. This is gonna be my else statement, basically. And then if that is statement, I want to get the C shot. I want to get the. I want to. I want to use a regex to remove the. This the uh, the drive. All right. So we should be good to go here. All right. So now I want to run tasks. I say missed optimized images. So I'm gonna see until we can explore try to see what's going on. And it may not exe. You know, I don't see the executable for some reason. Alright, so cool. So basically, right, I want to instead of providing um, a path, right, um the pass, right? So Essentially, right, I want to find where my Angular application is running. Media, right, so basically this, these are supposedly where all my images are running, right? So the command I'm gonna use Right is going to deal with uh, PNGs, right? ICOs, JPGs, SVGs, and then I think YPs. I'm gonna also add that in as well, right? So basically, I want to just grab only these file extensions and nothing else. But first things first, let's just back up. Every let's see if everything gets backed up. All right, and that's already running. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the full path here. So, and then it says, it's gonna delete everything, please provide a path. So I'm gonna say, miss. Um, image backup. Right, and then you have to be careful not to, already, as you rerun the command, right, the images are gonna be backed up already. So you have to be, definitely be careful with that, right? So now I'm gonna go to over to it. So it says image backup, and look at that. Everything's kind of saved. Everything's kind of ready to go. And then everything's kind of indicated. So all my whole path is through here. So I kind of know, right, where this is and um, where, the, you know, where things are. So I guess it's better to look at this in VS Code because file store will show you it properly. All right, so that's going to be like the first part. So thanks for watching, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to break this up into a little series so these videos are more easier to manage. In the second part, we're going to try to take a look at, all right, how can I can take those file extensions that we saw earlier and then work with only, you know, the files that we're interested in, which is images files, right? Because essentially we're going to turn this whole directory into J JPEG files and that's going to break some things. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.